Uh, hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu again. I had some uh, busy uh, time, so I had no time to do some uh, experimenting the last days. I've got some questions about uh, doing some uh, some experiments. Uh, one question from uh, Brautologus. He asked me to put a uh, an, an another uh, copper strip perpendicular to the copper strip and to see uh, what uh, kind of reaction I get when uh, sweeping again with the function generator. So I have hooked up a uh, copper strip foil like thing perpendicular to the uh, copper strip which runs uh, uh, this way and I hooked up the scope uh, I don't want to see it from the inside and the outside. Uh, and I pulse again on the copper strip with the function generator. It's in square wave again. And uh, when I uh, attach the, the yellow probe it's on uh, channel 2. And I set my FFT on uh, on channel 2 I get this picture when I uh, when I on uh, low frequency I am at uh, 12 uh, kilohertz at the moment square wave I put this in and this is a completely different picture than when uh, my last tests done with uh, the potentiometer uh, schematic uh, from user verpes so now I have uh, this picture, I am at uh, midpoint 6.2 megahertz. So I have a nice peak around 7 megahertz. I can put it in the middle. And it's around 7.25 megahertz. So this is a completely different uh, <laughs> than the one megahertz I had with the other test. When I sweep a little bit uh, you can see the frequency going up but uh, the noise goes up but uh, the peak stays the same around the 7.25 and now at uh, 118 kilohertz. And now you get all this uh, harmonics and uh, stuff. When I now switch over to sine wave, uh, I do not see that much of a reaction anymore. I'm now at the limit of my uh, function generated goes to 2 megahertz. And now you don't see this uh, 7 megahertz peak anymore, so profound. Now all the way back to uh, the one point, uh, the 12 kilohertz I started with. Okay, I switch back to a square wave again, and there we have uh, again this uh, 7 megahertz. There's another something here, small peak. It's supposed to be around 2, but. Uh, It's not that uh, it's it's gone when I when I switch to a lower resolution. But, uh. So I don't know uh, this copper strip uh, perpendicular to the uh, the original copper strip uh, has some uh, some influence. Uh, uh, another picture. What I do notice that when I pull the parts uh, the halves apart, you can see the. I do it now. You can see the frequency changing and going down, of course, but uh, also the frequency goes up. And that was not what I seen with the other test uh, doing uh, with the potentiometer. So uh, I think that's that's a better sign of uh, resonance of the ferrite on the 7 megahertz than what I had before. Okay, I will try to uh, do the other test again. Uh, as promised by uh, Verpis, uh, 
he asked me to do it again but now not using uh, square wave all the time but uh, sine wave to reduce the harmonics okay thank you okay welcome that. back again um, I have uh, um, re redone this uh, setup again a user verpies uh, asked me to remove something and to uh, change uh, uh, the sine wave uh, and not using square wave uh, another thing was the grounding which was with some uh, crocodile uh, stuff so uh, what I now did is I uh, soldered the 5k pot meter directly to the uh, to the one side of the uh, the upper side of the 5, 10, 15 and uh, 50 coils and I have hooked up the red probe in the middle wiper and I have uh, soldered the 15 and 50 turn uh, coils together and used it as a ground for the scope I put in uh, again uh, the signal on the copper strip and I am now again at uh, the function generator on uh, the 12k again kilohertz I'm now at square wave again and I got this picture which was similar when I used the perpendicular uh, copper strip uh, just before I see a similar uh, spectrum only this peak is a little bit more higher it's now 8 megahertz the other one was 7 so but I also see here again the spike and here again the spike but this is 170 kilohertz and this is around uh, 1 point, uh, 1.3 megahertz and that are the resonance frequencies of the coils so I, I'm not sure what it is so uh, again here I have this nice peak over here in the 7 to 8 megahertz uh, but then again when I remove the halves part now the frequency stays the same only the output gets a little bit less so I don't think this is uh, the ferrite resonance but it, what it is uh, I'm not sure okay when I now uh, sweep the uh, potentiometer when I touch it I get still some extra noise um, you can see in the front that uh, the peak goes up and down so I think that in this way I swap between the two coils they are attached to that now I have this uh, what is it uh, one uh, six uh, resonance frequency of the uh, the 15 turn coil and when I swipe the other way now I have more the 1.2 megahertz resonance frequency of the uh, the 50 turn core I think this is what I see here in the beginning of the spectrum one end of the potentiometer and another end of the potentiometer but you can see that this uh, 7 megahertz that still stays the same so no change there okay I will put the potentiometer in the middle and I will start to uh, sweep the frequency up you see that uh, I again get all this resonance frequency so now I will s go back and s uh, s change to sine wave I've done it now you can see a lot of less noise and I will again start to increase the frequency and I still keep here some some steady signal and not the limit again of my uh, 
function generator. But I do, you do see that uh, the the seven or eight megahertz uh, uh, peak is gone. I will switch to uh, I'm low. I'm switch to uh, square again, and there we have this nice uh, eight megahertz peak. Okay, switching to uh, sine wave, going up in frequency again. So I will switch now to a lower frequency range. Or is it? I am in uh, 1.25 megahertz in the center. And we, we see here some, some steady peaks, which are not moving when I change the frequency. So we have a lot of less uh, harmonics. That's that's right. And I will tune now to this uh, this peak here. But you see, it's the 1.6 now, and I guess I guess that's again the resonance frequency of the 15 turn coil. And I don't see this uh, one meg uh, megahertz peak we saw in the test yesterday or the day before. It was around 1 megahertz. It should be around here, but... Uh, so that's a bad thing that we cannot... Uh, that I cannot uh, duplicate my own tests from yesterday. So the only thing I now have done is to uh, Cancel out some some stray capacitance from from crocodile uh, leads and clips. Uh. It could be we have here some some resonance in this large spike. I'll put it in the middle. And this is the. The one megahertz frequency. So, but this is with sine wave, so it's a lot, lot less pronounced than with square wave. I'll switch to square wave now, and there it is uh, with all its uh, harmonics. So I guess I can stick to this uh, one megahertz uh, resonance frequency because it's not changing and. Uh, I can do some other tests now. Uh, what uh, what I what I have uh, asked to do, but it's it's not very strong. It's not very strong resonance. Okay, thank you for now again. Okay, welcome back again. Uh, another question from T thousand was uh, to try to see if I have uh, the function generator hooked up to the copper strips on this uh, ferrite resonance frequency we just found out to be around 1 megahertz so i put the uh, i put the scope uh, or the function generator around 1 megahertz uh, i have square wave now uh, put it into uh, the copper strip and i measure the 15 turns coil now and he asked me if I have now a uh, sine wave uh, on this 50 turn coils, but uh, as you can see it's far from that. It's a lot of noise. And it's kind of... Uh, it wants to resonate, but it wants to resonate on a much higher frequency. Try to get it still because it wants to resonate around six megahertz somehow and not on the one megahertz I'm now feeding. 
So I will try to tune a little bit now with the frequency generator to see when I get this nice sine wave. Meaning resonance, I have something here. This is a rough sine wave, not real. It's on 1.66 megahertz, and this this is the frequency I measured earlier to be the resonance frequency of the 15 turn coil. So uh, it's logical that we have this sine wave here. But when I tune any further, well, I'm now at the limit again of my function generator. So this looks like something of a resonance. It's not clean, it's not clear. I can switch to sine wave, then of course it's much, much better, but... Uh, uh, nothing uh, on the one megahertz, uh, which is supposed to be then the ferrite resonance uh, point. When I uh, switch over there, there is mm, not really a nice signal on the 15 turn coil. And now I'm sine wave, I can switch to square wave and you see it's a lot of... Uh, it wants to, uh, it wants to uh, resonate at 6.6 6 megahertz. I think it's, uh, I'm ringing now something, but... Uh, uh, not not uh, decisive that this is... Uh, uh, a nice signal, sine wave signal from uh, from the resonance point of the uh, of the ferrite. Okay, thank you again.